Hey Aries, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, February 22nd. Let's see what's going on with Aries. At the heart of your reading, we have the Eight of Swords reversed with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Wanting to clear up some sort of misunderstanding that um, is a sticking point. It, it seems like um, there's been communication about something before and the same misunderstanding keeps popping up. It has to do with some sort of effort, some sort of um, work that needs to be done, could be your actual job or profession. Let's see what the challenge is. Why is this misunderstanding persisting? Wheel of Fortune reversed. I think this is what the misunderstanding is about. Timing. There's been a lack of clarity about timing. What are my Aries focused on? High Priestess in reverse. You don't have a lot of faith in this situation. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure whether you are the one. Um, okay, so if someone's been trying to tell you about like an appointment or a schedule or when you're supposed to meet or when you're supposed to do something, um, I feel like it's vague communication um, or there might be like a time zone confusion. Maybe someone is using like 12 a.m. and they think that it's meaning noon. It, it's some sort of like, yeah, a, a, a technical timing issue. That, that has happened more than once. Um, if you are the one communicating to another person, I'm getting that they could be um, purposefully like refusing to accept the timing that you're offering because they want something sooner. They want it to happen sooner than the timing that you are instructing or offering. Mm. Actually, okay, no, there are instances where it could be they want it to happen later. Um, like if you are setting a deadline for someone, um, they might purposefully misunderstand you. But if you're offering to um, to do something for someone, I think they would be expecting that you would, it would be done sooner than what you've actually told them. And like they're playing dumb when uh, like, oh, well, I thought you, I thought we agreed that it would be done by today. You're like, no, I didn't say today. I said a week from now. Well, doesn't a week from now mean such and such a date? And you said that on, it's like that sort of like willfully refusing to understand communication about scheduling. In the recent past, we have the Five of Cups reversed, which talks about getting over something that had been hurtful. If this is work-related, it could have been um, you've been passed up for a promotion and you might be asking, well, what is the timing? And your boss is like, mm, well, there, they, they'll, there will likely be another opening in that department 
next month. Let's check back. And that might not be accurate even at the moment they say it. Yeah, in the energy of the environment, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. It's, it's that mismatch of what someone needs and what someone is offering in the context of discussing timing. I am getting more and more that whomever on one side of this, someone is purposefully being um, vague. In the near future, we have the lovers, which if in a work context, this means that both people are going to get what they want out of the situation. Same place, same time which is a good sign because we've been talking about this scheduling issue. Okay, show me um, if this is relationship and we're talking about um, when are you available to go out on a date? When are you available to come over? Someone's been vague or unsure as to when they could see the other. In the near future, you end up seeing one another. Show me surprise energy for Aries. The Fool in Reverse. Okay, there might be another false start that's disappointment. Three of Cups in Reverse here to uh, to add some depth to the, the meaning of the Fool. It's like just at the moment when you thought all right, I can finally do the thing that we've been talking about. And it's like, wait, where are you? I thought you were going to be here. Show me hopes and fears for Aries. King of Wands. It's interesting. I'm getting off of the King of Wands that you just hope you're not being played with. Toyed with. As though this other person is making themselves to appear like Oh, it's just an accident. I don't know. Like so, when when in reality they're like King of Wands, like I am doing this on purpose. The end result we have the 7 of Pentacles. Well, this is more waiting. But with the added meaning of the waiting will pay off. So I like that. It's, it's, it's going somewhere. It's not waiting for no reason. Well, I know it might not feel that way in the moment. Show me advice for Aries. How can Aries work with these energies for their highest and best good? It's saying get on the same page and make a clear plan with one another. <laughs> Two of Wands reversed, Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Collaborate, get on the same page. You guys both want what, uh, you, you, want, you both want basically the same thing here. Your intentions, your motivations, and what you're seeking is aligned. However, there's just not a clear plan. 
So if you can go about this another way, if you can communicate in a different way to alleviate this confusion um, and or avoid this cat and mouse if that's going on. Aries, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.